hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um i have been playing i bought a salad spinner after watching um betsy doodle and um, i've been having a little play i can't say i've been getting great success but i will uh, show you what i've done this is the very first one that i did uh, let's come down a bit so you can see them better um yeah so maybe you know that was literally the first thing that I, I had a go at. My, I don't have any paints which are thin enough. I think that's part of it. So I tried um, watering down paints. So um, let's not go there for a minute. Well, I'll tell you what, something else I did while I was there. I put some water on a piece of paper. No, I put some brush -o on a piece of paper. I sprinkled brush -o on and then I dropped drops of water and then span it and then afterwards I think I've given it a spritz but that's brush -o in the uh, in the salad spinner um, and I wasn't do uh, I'll show you the one that I did next but I have um, drawn on that one already so that's one that I have had a little doodle on which I quite like but um, you know there's room for improvement um, and then I was, I decided I, you know, it wasn't working for me, so I was going to stop and I paint, I used up the rest of my paint on the background of the next one and then just splattered paint on and put that in the, um, salad spinner and that's what I got. And I thought, oh, actually I quite like that. That's quite a nice background. And I did another one of those as well. So you can see the green, that's just my background. The, the colours that I'd got left over and then I just splattered it and then put it in the salad spinner and I actually quite like that I don't know if you can see the gold on there but as a background pretty good then I hadn't got much paint left so I just literally threw some on a piece of card it's little splat little tiny splats and spam that but I thought oh yeah you can use that for something and then yesterday I had another go and I mixed up some paints in little well I'll say it in little palettes they're not little palettes at all because I couldn't find my palette but I used um this packaging that the that come over pears that keep your pears from getting squashed in the packet so um I used the dips of those and uh, made up some paint a little bit thinner and had another go so I think I'm getting better I think I might have a doodle of some of these and there's another one like that. Oh, look, this has got like a shimmer paint in, but I think my paint is too thick. That's the main problem. This one, um, I started, because um, I wasn't really happy with it, I'm thinking oh, I'm just wasting card now as well as paint. So I just went into the recycling bin and grabbed some packaging and started doing them on packaging. And actually, um, you know, I don't hate them they're not bad and then I started doing the same again with little tiny dots and just spinning it little splats this one's got some silver in but I think they'll be great as sort of like backgrounds for ATCs and cards and things we'll do some more doodling I think on some of them but yeah so anyway, I thought I'd share that and also, when, when I was doing one of the um, videos, oh, I can't remember, sometime this week, to do with the Mushroom Journal, um, the lovely Diane, Diane Cross, did ask about my decal ruler. Let me get it here. It's bit in a bit of a state. There we go. I don't know if you can see it very well. What have I got that I can show it to you on? Maybe on there. Yeah, I have shown it a long time ago or mentioned it in a video, but I wouldn't know where to find it, I don't think. So I thought I would just explain how I did it and the sort of thing. I've got a ruler coming and I'll try and do another one. I've bought an A4. Uh, well, this was an A4. What do I A4? A 30 centimetre ruler. This was one, but I snapped it in half so I'd have a smaller um, area to use. And it's fine because you can move the ruler up and down. The sort of ruler, let me come up a little bit. The sort of ruler you don't want is one of these. This is a shatterproof ruler, which means it bends like that. That's not the kind of plastic you need for this. 
you need one of the like what I'd call like the cheaper hard plastic ones that don't bend that's the type of ruler that you need okay and then you need now I haven't got anything here to show you let me let me go and get something right what do you need is a pair of like pliers now I'm not I've got my best jewellery pliers here I don't suggest that you use those these are a cheap pair that came with a little um, toolbox thing that I keep around you never know when it's when you need it so a cheap pair of pliers or you know if you've got some you know that you use for DIY those are probably perfect you don't need I wouldn't use your best stuff for this so you've got your hard plastic ruler you need to wear I'm going to safety first guys I wear glasses if you don't wear glasses put some protection over your eyes while you do this because you're gonna have bits flying everywhere otherwise so protect your eyes and then you just grab little bits of it like that and you pull it off I could do I don't really want to do well but I'm, I will do it again. I'll get another ruler and show you it again. But it's, they've got one in the post, but it's not going to come quick enough for my, my liking. So you just grab a little tiny piece like that and you pull it like that and stick it in the bin. That's all you do. And you just randomly pull little bits off. Let's pick a bit there like that. Throw it in the bin. And that gives you your kind of decal, decal edge. And then it's really good for using on scrap paper. She says, I haven't got a lot of scrap paper. Here's a little bit here. Where's my maths there? And you can just pull it. It's very easy to pull and you can reposition it. And it gives you just a torn edge. So there you go, Diane, hope that helps. So not a bendy ruler, a hard plastic ruler, and then a pair of pliers, grab little bits, snap them off. That's all I did. Okay, hope that was useful. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back again. I'm gonna do some more on the, the on the journal. I think I need to crack on with that now. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.